Hello, welcome to Geeky Stuff. Here I have the review of the Chewy Lapbook 15.6 inch screen. So this is on Gearbest for £202 at the moment. It is a quad core processor, Intel Atom, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage with a beautiful 1080p display. Let's turn it on and show you the boot time. This has a 10,000 milliamp battery as well. Uh, charging does take a while, um, a good few hours to get full charge. But when you're actually using the laptop, you get very, very good battery life. I've been using it at work and on average, I'd probably say around six to seven hours of average use. I was using it mainly for word processing, which um, this sort of laptop will be very, very ideal for uh, word processing and stuff like that. Quite lightweight programs. You can play games on it. Um, it's very, very similar specs to the EasyPad 6, which I reviewed re re quite recently. Exactly the same specs. So gaming and stuff on this will be absolutely fine as well. Um, look at that huge screen. It's beautiful. One of the things I do like about this is the design and the brilliant white color. It does look really, really clean and very, very nice. A nice uh, big base as well, so you can have your hands there and uh, type in and stuff on this and using the trackpad is very, very easy. So it comes with a Windows 10. I've installed Chrome and um, Office applications and Malwarebytes, uh, antivirus scanner. So the lap book runs Office applications really, really well. Been using Word uh, quite a bit. Just to show you how, the, uh, how fast it boots up. So there we have it. Uh, it's there. So office applications run really well. And let's, there we go. There's no sort of lag or delay in typing whatsoever, which is cool. Okay, so I can go ahead and open up Excel as well. There we go. And again, this works absolutely fine. So I'll leave that open and I'll then go ahead and open Chrome. I was just adjust the brightness. The brightness is uh, at the moment 42%. Let's wake it up to 100. That obviously will reduce battery life. At the moment, uh, it's saying, zoom in there, seven hours and 24 minutes remaining. Let's go back to Chrome. So it is connected to the um, to the wireless here at home. Connects to the wireless just fine. <sighs> okay. BBC. Let's open up some more cats. Now let's go to YouTube. Because I want to show you um, one of the things that I am disappointed with um, are the speakers. The sound is um, not very good at all. The speakers are at the bottom. Just see right there. And on the other side there as well. 
at the bottom. It's not brilliant. So that's the volume whacked right up. Sounds very tinny. I'll move the microphone closer. So that's as loud as it goes. It's quite harsh when it's a bit loud, to be honest. It's a bit tinny. You're definitely better off using a 3mm headphone jack. Yeah, not very nice at all. So definitely buy some and maybe external speakers to plug into the 3.5 mil jack or just use headphones. They're yeah, not great at all I'm afraid, but like I can show you here, the laptop does have Bluetooth so you can have a wireless headset or wireless headphones as well. So that's not really a problem at all. So overall guys, it's um, a really good budget laptop. One thing I will show you though is that if you are planning on doing any sort of um, scanning, antivirus scanning or anything like that, is that you can't really do much else while it's scanning. And I'll open up Malware Bytes now and show you why. Um, let's scan now. So the scan has started. Let's check in for updates first. Okay, while that's checking for updates, let's just have a quick look at the connections on the laptop. So the first connector there, guys, is for the power, for the USB power that I showed you earlier. And you have a USB port, not only just a USB port, it's a USB 3 port for high-speed devices. Next to there, you have a mini HDMI port for external monitors or screens. Super. Okay guys, and on the opposite side, you have a micro SD card slot. Perfect for expandable storage. You have a 3.5 mil headphone socket, and you have a USB 2 port, super. Okay, so we're back, and at the moment, look, it's scanning memory, you can just see there. And if you see it, the CPU usage, it is clocked out at 100%. So when you're trying to um, do other things, it is obviously very, very slow because the CPU is being used to its full capacity. Now it's scanning startup files and the CPU is still 100%. Uh, let's open up Word and Excel. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's try Chrome. I've seen worse. It's taken a little bit of time. But it's 100% CPU, so um, you might be able to do the odd little bit in here and there, but um, while it's scanning, I'll probably just leave it. Maybe do it overnight or in the evenings. Okay, so let me just stop that, and CPU should shoot right down. Uh, let me, yeah, so CPU is sort of, well, the malware bytes is still running slightly. Quit malware bytes. There we go. Oh, yes. So that's my very quick overview of the Chewy Lapbook. Um, very, very good budget um, laptop for around 200 pounds. Beautiful design, really nice um, 
beautiful matte screen. It's not refl really reflective and um, on bright conditions it's quite easy to see the screen as well and adjusted the brightness up. And also these speakers were a bit of a downside for me. Uh, battery life is excellent on this and you can run your office applications, you can watch videos and uh, browse the internet. So yeah, if you want to take a look at this guys, the uh, link is in the description below. Um, any questions or you want me to answer, I'll answer them as best as I can. Uh, but it's a really, really great laptop. Take a look at it and uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.